Let's get right to it. It's no secret many are drawn to the top roles in information technology because of the money we make. If you're good at the top tier roles, you're going to make a lot of coin. If you're good at the most in-demand roles, like the machine learning engineer and the data engineer, then you're going to make big bank. There are a few reasons why we make so much money. The first and most obvious one is supply and demand. You simply can't find the people with the experience and technical acumen that have created production level models. Next up are the skills. They're a strange mix of technical skills combined with a healthy dose of statistics. For example, most don't know that real world machine learning is data sourcing and data cleansing. If you don't have SQL skills or don't understand what data cleansing is, which is really just applied statistics, you're never going to make it past the phone screen. Most people I speak with in interview don't even know what applied statistics is. I created a video about it yesterday, and the example I used was the understanding of mean value. If you understand what mean value is, yet you don't know how to implement mean value and mutation in Python, then you don't understand applied statistics, and your statistical knowledge is then useless to hiring managers in the space. Another reason why we're paid so much is the barrier to entry is so steep. There are no entry-level roles in machine learning. If you don't come from a data or a programming role, you're not going to be considered for any machine learning engineering role. This eliminates just about everyone. What it means is, if you aren't in a data role or not a programmer, you're not going to get a job in machine learning at any real-world company. The last big reason is similar to the barrier to entry problem. Most people don't know what the role really looks like. Most don't even understand the difference between machine learning and data science, and why data science jobs are really the domain of the machine learning engineer. Many think that we craft our own models. If you don't know what we do in the real world, you have zero chance of choosing the correct skills and path to a career in this space. So, if you add up all these things together, you can see why it's hard to find a skilled machine learning engineer and why companies are handing out large salaries. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, have a great day. We'll see you soon.